Mm. Hello guys, this is Larry 101 with another Fishing Planet uh, video. Now, um, I'm going to tell you guys after you grind until level 5, what to buy and what to do next and uh, why you have to buy the certain things and what you're going to do with it. Okay guys, um, as you can see, level 5 just reached it. Uh, I have 21,823 uh, uh, rewards, 9 coins and uh, level 5. Then uh, you guys can see in my inventory didn't buy anything yet, just nothing. So we're gonna go to shop. The first two things you have to buy is the add rods. You're gonna go for the um, tell uh, <laughs> tell float at uh, 650. You're gonna buy that rod, and then you're gonna go to the value spin. To do 230 you're gonna buy that for um, your jigs and stuff okay after you buy that that's gonna at least hold until level 8 to 10 then we're gonna go to reels these reels on my main I'm still using it until level 19 so that's why I'll recommend this it's the first buy you can buy at level 5 and it keeps basically the whole game through so um, you can catch up to I think nine kilograms uh, flat mount. Right, it's a very strong line. Yeah. Um, so you're gonna take these two two of these reels because you have two rods, and you can see it there at the corners. This means it's a rod that you can um, the two different rods, and then that is to use um, for bait and the, the lures. That's the meaning of the lures. So you can see that is all we bought and the um, rods we used use these control controls. So then we're going to go to line. Um, the first line you can buy, I think the strongest one um, is going to be this braided um, 0.12 millimeters. Uh, so because that's the strongest one you're going to get and you get 150 meters and your rods can't cast further than I think like 77 meters so you you're just going to put 100 meters yeah 150 meters on the one uh, rod or we can put it in half it doesn't matter um, then we're going to go to tools and equipment uh, all denim we're going to buy we're going to buy the hobby uh, gear to put the two rods in so we can carry two rods we're gonna leave out the huts and stuff for now because uh, seven kilograms is nothing we're gonna go and wait for the 12 kilogram one at level eight and then you're gonna go for the easy go belt um, pocket to get more storage on on our body when we go fishing to carry more stuff then we're gonna go to um, Uh, where the hooks and stuff are, uh, then... Dude, how far must I make my line? Just put it in half, the half of 150 on each of the thing. Then we, we, when we buy, buy the um, hooks and the stuff, we're going to go and buy the uh, chubby. Just one of them. And then we're going to go to the hooks. We're going to take the largest hooks. Now, by the hooks is, you get the hook hash one, eh? It's... Bigger than a uh, hook hash 8. But then you're going to go to the odd sizes. The odd sizes is a hook hash 1 slash 0. But uh, odd size, the higher the number is, the bigger the hook is. The lower the number is, the smaller the hook is. And when it's not an odd size, the higher the, num uh, the number is, the smaller the size is. And the lower the number is, the bigger the hook is. So we're going to go for this. At this stage, this is the only hook we can buy that's in not an odd size. So we're going to buy the hook hash one. It's bigger than what we, we already have. And then uh, that's that for now. You can see you get 10 units of that with every purchase. So um, on the lures, we're going to use one of our gold uh, our coins. We're going to buy the uh, mini uh, bass jig, uh, 9 grams, hash 2. It's a smaller one than this one, but this one I seem to get most bites on and then <clears throat> we're gonna move on and we're gonna go get, uh, get the 
Uh, the silver spoon, uh, nine ash one. Uh, no, the golden one. The silver one is not so good. So we're gonna take the golden one for now because the golden one on sunny days it works better and uh, because the sun reflects on it and the fish sees it more. That's how the game is scripted and stuff. But uh, in dark days when it's like um, the weather is raining or pouring or something, uh, you're gonna use a dark uh, lure. But we're not gonna use it now because we don't have any dark lures. So we're gonna buy this one. <clears throat> okay, then by baits we can need. I need to buy in, in more uh, red worms. I'll recommend you to do the same. Then um, the dough balls. We're gonna need to buy those. One of each, and then the small uh, cut bait. Okay, we're gonna go f try and catch a bass with this. If we're not using the lure with the red worms. But uh, the rest of the stuff is just a bigger fish with a bigger hook uh, that you caught through the uh, um, start of the game. Because the hook is bigger so the fish is going to be bigger. Then the dough, uh, dough balls we're going to uh, use to catch... Um, what's that fish called? Oh, I can't remember. I'll show you Nana. And then uh, the large uh, small cut bait we're going to use to... Uh, catch catfish and if we're gonna move off the level 7 with the small mellows to a different uh, location we're gonna use that to also catch bigger catfish uh, this uh, small cut bait works until level 17 so that's a good bait to get always and have it in stock um, then I believe that is all we need then we're going to go to our inventory and we're quickly going to do this, show you guys what to do. You're going to take these rods you have on you, drag it and put it in at your home. Then you're going to go to your, um, just drag that back. Then you're going to go to your home and then you will see if you click on, let's say the rods and reels, you're going to get your two rods you bought. Um, okay, and then you can put on your reels. Those other two rods you can sell, or, or the other rod and reel you can sell or keep. I'm just gonna keep it, it's not a big deal. Then uh, the line, um, I'm just gonna put on half each 70 70. You guys must remember. Oh my shit, I just, I just. Yeah, I just did that. Okay. Dude, I can't make a second uh, rig. It says the backpack is full. No, you can make a second rig. Uh, okay. Don't do what I just did. So, basically, I have to put, waste more money. That's why what I was going to say. Guys, just be careful. Don't waste your money. And I did exactly fucking that. Okay, uh, anyway, uh, it looks like a lot of money now, nah? uh, 13,000 whatever, but it goes like nothing. If you go to a later stage, you can see um, level 14, 11, you already pay like 4 grand a, a, a rod without a reel and it's different reels to cast further and stuff. So don't use unnecessary money like I just did. Um, because that's a real waste. It's a shame I just did that. Uh, what I should have done is I cut the, the line already in half. So I had to drag this to max. But yeah, I didn't do that. <clears throat> I think uh, Proc also didn't do that. But yeah. Then um, you're going to go... You still at your... No, no, that's, that's on your backpack. You're going to put on your uh, chubby. Uh, the number one hook. You can keep the um, other float or bobber and uh, the hooks. You can keep that on you. Just make sure all your um, bait is on you. Lures uh, should be there and there. The two lures are still on my body. So you're going to go home. Make, just make sure all the stuff is not there. So now we can go catch some fish, guys. Um... see what I just did 
now we have our two things completely uh, we have a uh, number one hook just need to put on bait uh, put on the red worms how do you put the three. jigs on if i drag the jig to the hook you need to doesn't... no you need to be on the right uh, rod on put the, it on that the the the, the small uh, gray one the i think it's the what what's this thing called what now? rod is it um, now I have to drag it out just to tell you what road it is. I can't remember the name. Um, the value spin is the one you're going to use for the uh, lures, the jigs. Value spin 230? Yeah, but you have to, you have to put on your line max. That's what I should have done the first time. Anyway. Okay, now you, you're you set, you have your rig, you're going to use it until uh, level, I think it's level, let's just go check there, level 9. Then you're just going to add this, yeah, level 9, then you're just going to add this baby and that baby. Then um, the rods and stuff still stays the same, so you have to grind, catch better fish. Now I'm going to show you guys quickly when you catch fish, where to catch. I'm not sure, I'm not uh i think you you need to buy your advanced license because we're going to use the um the, the the rod with the spoon so when you go to um lone star lake you'll see uh on your left there is texas lone star lake the weather fishing um specs and then the licenses if you click on the licenses you'll get the two licenses uh basic uh, texas uh, license and then the advanced texas license you just need to buy that this is going to show you one day now nah, it's not one day in the game it's one day in reality so if you buy it today at seven o'clock tomorrow seven o'clock this license will expire so you can catch until then so i'll recommend to buy this so you can keep the bass and keep the uh, trophy fish you catch so um after you have done that you can go in and then travel to your uh, Lone Star Lake destination. Um, we always go into the bridge thing, so uh, the pattern looks what, fine. What rod are we guys using? We're what gonna use the two new ones. Yeah, but um, the one of the jig or the red ones? You know, you can but you can put both on in game. You'll change it. Uh, oh, when you, you can get in, change it in game. Oh, okay. Yeah, when you get in game, you can press one and two to change your uh, your type of uh, rods. Then um, what I will recommend you doing is start off with your bait and stuff because that's easier than the. Uh, Are you in this lobby? I can't see. No, you. no, no. I need to go out quickly so you can join me. I'm just explaining this quickly. I'll rather go with the rod with the bait on and stuff. That's easier to catch fish and get a level up and stuff. But if you want to go for bass early on, you can use the jigs. Um, I'm going to show you quickly the different patterns you can do with the jigs and uh, how to throw it and stuff. The other thing is what I didn't explain to you guys. If you throw your rod nah, into... Um, reads like these let me just show you it it will tell you it's stuck and you need to try get it loose and all that stuff or break it but what you do is you press the plus and minus put up a break and then you just pull it and it comes out then you don't lose hooks and uh, jigs and stuff so oh uh, i i should have told you earlier on but now we're getting to the expensive part so um rather not break it off and lose your jigs and stuff Keep it, try and pull it out and uh, keep your stuff. Now I'm gonna go quickly to Proco. I'll just um, yeah, looks like he crafted one. I hope so. Created one. Okay. Now oh, me and I was in your lobby just now. Okay. Now I'm also in your lobby. Never mind. Okay. Now me and Proco are in the same lobby. We figured it out. Um, so with the bass um, rod. I'm quickly going to show you guys the different patterns. Okay, there's two um, 
speeds you're gonna use. Uh, the one is at uh, three bars and two bars. You're gonna cast where I told you guys to cast uh, around about there, and then you cast there. Okay, uh, the first one is the easiest one. I'm gonna show you guys. Um, slow and steady. You just put it on two, and then you just reel. It will just keep on hovering like that, and then if you see the fish bites, you uh, press right click to pull it, hook it, or whatever you want to call it. Um, this one is no, not so effective, but I got the first bite on it. My first fish, it's not a bass though, but it is a good fish. Not too bad, 55 rewards, and I got 20 XP. A lot better than when you started, you know, the grinding. Okay, and then uh, the second method is um, where I told you guys to put it, uh, around about there. <coughs> um, you're going to put it up to three. Then you're going to, um, it's called stop and go because you reel in for a second and leave it. It drops the reel in for a second, leave it, then you'll see under where your lure is shown, it will show you what method you're using, stop and go. This is the most um, successful method to use, it's better than the rest, but I usually catch most of my fish on this, on all the places, so I recommend uh, trying to get this full and learn how to do it. Then, um, then there's twitching. Okay, twitching is the difficult one. Usually you don't get it right the first few times. That is, you reel for a second, but then you right click to pull it up. And then you leave it both to, both together. So it's reel, hook, reel, hook, reel, hook. And, okay, now I have a fish on. So uh, you couldn't see the method showing there, but I have the fish. Okay, you see the break? Uh, yeah, there we go. Good fish. Now, you guys will see the break is not... Um, the, the, the line tension, it's, it's, it's in the yellow. It's starting to go red. So that's a good thing. The line is not too bad. But we're going to upgrade the line also at level 9. There I got my first um, uh, spotted bass. A lot of money. You can see it's uh, 156, no, 65 rewards and uh, 30, uh, 23 XP not much but now we can keep it because we have the um, the large uh, ach, the advanced license okay now I'm gonna show you guys quickly the method again hopefully not gonna catch something okay now on the twitching let's start going um, reel and pull reel and pull reel and pull and you see there it goes it says twitching but this is the most difficult one. It is also successful, but it's very difficult to do. So if you can get that right, stop and go, I recommend mostly of the time. It's the best. And then um, you guys see the spawn points work. You, every two casts, you will catch a fish with that spawn point there. And if you cast more than two, you move along where I told you the second time around there and then you cast and then you use your method you can use it the same you can use the same spots with the um, baits there's no difference in the spots that's I think it's spawn points or locations where the fish are just like most active in Okay, nothing there for the first cast. But anyway, then the third cast I told you about, but I didn't want to show you because the rod can't go that, that far. Is, you see, there's the big three, uh, three, and then you go down, you get the second one with the dip in. You go as far as possible, and then you cast. Now we're going to use the slow and, uh, slow and steady. You just put it down to two and then reel it in slowly and 
city. This is just to show you guys the distance, 34 meters, and we got a fish, a big one, yeah. Okay, I'm going to show you guys what you do. If the fish keeps going away from you, nah, let me show you with uh, that. Like this, it keeps going away. You need to pull down, pull your re rod back and reel back in when you go down. You see, you have to do this motion. Then you, you get the fish quickly inwards towards you. All I recommend, you saw that where the line went, um, like, all the, the tension went off the line. Try and not do that. Keep the tension always on the line because the fish will get uh, hooked off and lost. So you lose the time and the money. Okay, guys. Um, that's the video for now. I'm going to check you guys out on level 9. Show you guys what to buy and what to do then. Um, now you guys can grind. Uh, oh, before we go, before we go, I need to show you this. Okay, uh, you guys gonna need to if you wanna catch a uh, channel catfish, you're gonna need to put that down. Uh, press F1 and then channel catfish is at the bottom. Most of the times it's around about uh, 190, and then you cast into the middle of the lake. Okay, stop doing that. Okay, when you go out, you cast around about there. Now to see the depth on your um, on the lake is, you'll see it there by the um, the bobbin. Uh, if it is sideways, when you put the length on the lead and you throw it in, and it's on sideways, it lays it uh, lays on an angle. You know it hits bottom before the, the, the bobbin is straightened up. So that's when you, how you catch catfish. Usually the catfish will start nibbling and stuff and then it will move up and down. And then it will drag it down and you have to catch the fish. So that's how you know uh, the depth of the, the the lake or river or whatever. So you can catch cat, cat, catfish. So you're going to use the uh, small cut bait for that. And then the rest of it, it's always on 120 uh, to catch the different kind of fish. You can catch bass with the red worms sometimes, but we're going to go till level 9 and then buy small mellows. Then it's a guarantee with a uh, one odd hook, you're going to catch a, a bass. And that's the quickest way to catch it. For now, if you want to catch bass, you have to use the uh, jig with the, the rod with the jig and use the different methods. As I showed you and hopefully you guys get into uh, level 9 quickly so you guys can get up in life in the game and uh, pro make progress. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, that's going to be all for now. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and hopefully, hopefully it was useful to you. Uh, see you guys at, at level 9 again. Thank you guys for watching. Like this video if you found it helpful. Dislike if you did not like it and subscribe for more content like this.